Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Let's say you want to start working out, but you don't know what equipment is the best for home workouts. Don't worry, I give you the best recommendation for the best equipment. First things first, depending on the sport you do, uh, weights, uh, calisthenics, um, yoga, uh, or even martial arts, it doesn't matter, um, you have to choose the right um, equipment for your sport. But fitness in general will give you more energy and performance to your sport. So I have here some equipment, some of them are extremely useful and some are not really. So I will start with the equipment that is not so useful. The ab wheel, yes, it is great for building a um, strong core, but um, it's only for the abs. And you can get a strong core without it, but if you still want one, why not? The next is the jump rope. Uh, I mean, if you um, hit the ceiling every time you jump, it's not really a good idea. If you are outside and you have enough space, the jump rope can really be uh, one of the best equipments. It focuses on full body resistance, coordination, and you can really burn a lot of fat uh, with the jump rope. They are great for your travels because they don't take a lot of space, so you can take them everywhere you go. It is a must have, but you're not gonna use it every for every workout. The next on the list is the mat. Same here, uh, you won't need it for every workout you do, but it's always good to have a mat um, because there are some workouts that um, you're gonna need it, for example, on the floor for ab workouts. And doing them on the floor without a mat, it's very uncomfortable. And with the mat, it's more fluffy. Another thing is there are different types of mats. For example, this one is a thick one. I prefer the thick ones than the thinner ones because um, if I use the thin ones, it's almost as if I don't have any mat on the floor and it still hurts. <laughs> Ankle weights or weights in general, obviously um, they are great, but once you get used to them, you need hard, uh, heavier um, weights to progress. You can buy the dumbbells with additional weight, but some muscles require more workload, but it's better than with nothing. Imagine doing bicep curls uh, just with no weights. You have to do more than 200 reps to feel the burn. <laughs> Parallettes and dip bars are the best equipment for bodyweight exercise. The dip bars are better than the parallels because you can do more exercises with them. You can adjust the dip bars for different heights and they are definitely better than the chairs I use. <laughs> the downside of the dip bars is that they take a lot of space. Now, the best equipment is the resistance bands. I guess you couldn't figure that one out. I practically use them for every workout and if you know how to use them, you're gonna have a lot of fun training. For calisthenics is a must and for people who don't uh, want to work out but don't know what equipment they should buy, this is the number one. You can take them to travels because they don't take a lot of space. They can be used as resistance or as assistance. What you can do with them for the price you pay for them they are practically free, if you know what I mean. I have definitely put them on top of the list, but guys, keep in mind that there are different types of uh, resistance bands and um, the right one to choose, gonna leave it for another video. This is the equipment that I use, but obviously there are gonna be a lot of other uh, equipments, but some of them take space, height, heavy for carrying them to, every, to everywhere. Like I said in the video, depending on the sport or goal you do, you will choose the right equipment. But for me, these are the best for calisthenics. They are minimal, uh, practical uh, and not too expensive. Guys, let me know what equipment you use or if you like these equipments and guys, this completes this video and I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new coming videos. And I see you next time. Thank you and see ya.